Noise pollution is everywhere. It has come to be accepted as a part of our daily lives, something we can't really control. What most people fail to realize is that it can have a devastating effect on our health. So it's a lot of research uh, out there, you know, for like several decades showing that there is a strong connection between noise pollution and, and uh, short-term health effects like a sleep disruption uh, or increased levels of stress, all of which also has a connection with long-term effects like uh, increased risk of cardiovascular disease or hearing loss. An interdisciplinary team of over 20 collaborators from NYU and Ohio State University have been working on a comprehensive research initiative to understand and address noise pollution in New York and beyond. Join us as we visit the Center for Urban Science and Progress in New York to talk with two members of this research project, Juan Pablo Bale and Charles Midlots. In New York, citizens can call 311 to make noise complaints. If a certain volume of complaints occur in a specific location, an inspector is sent to investigate the noise. Unfortunately, the turnaround time is not fast enough to deal with most complaints. And there's typically a four or five days delay uh, in their response. So, you know, like really just the issue that uh, noise is, a, is an ephemeral occurrence, you know, that doesn't leave any trace in time, makes it very hard for them to actually observe the violation when they get there. Bayo and his team have developed Sonic, a new groundbreaking device which uses data science methods for large-scale noise analysis. Sonic is a cyber physical system solution uh, to the problem of urban noise uh, pollution. Uh, the idea has three major components. So it has a monitoring component, which is basically a, a sensor network which is distributed across the city, it operates 24-7, you know, it's able to uh, monitor noise uh, in ways that go beyond current monitoring mechanisms. The information that flows from the network goes to a second stage, which is analytical, where you can implement you know, big data solutions and data mining solutions to try to understand patterns of noise at city level. And then with the knowledge that you generate through that analysis, go to the third stage, which is that of mitigation, where the information flows to the city agencies, you know, for, to the Department of Environmental Protection, for example, and they can actually send inspectors specifically to locations that we know have a high noise profile and where they have a high probability of observing a violation. Current noise monitoring systems measure the intensity of noise in a specific environment. The major problem with this approach is that all the noise is aggregated together into a single value. There is no way to distinguish and analyze each noise variable individually. Sonic uses machine learning to tackle this problem. Uh, so the devices actually have a fair amount of processing power available at the edge actually on the sensor themselves. So we're able to perform uh, machine listening on the sensor edge. So this is taking the audio from the microphone and generating probabilities for what the sensor actually is hearing or what the sensor is actually picking up. In this chart, you can see the process of machine listening as Sonic listens to the environment, analyzes it in real time, and determines which specific sound variable is being heard and how loud that specific noise source is. The sensor is actually very low cost. We use a lot of off-the-shelf components apart from the custom microphone and you're looking at around $80 in parts per sensor. One thing that you do in these situations is you reduce the cost of the sensor so that you're reducing the cost of the overall deployment. There are close to 60 sensors already deployed throughout New York. In the past two and a half years, they have cumulatively collected 75 years worth of noise intensity data and 37 years of sound data. So, you know, we have a unique uh, data set right now about noise pollution in a real world urban environment uh, that really gives us uh, you know like a lot of interesting information to work with you know not only the team in Sonic but also all the researchers in the future. While the development of Sonic comes from a research-based initiative its end goal extends far beyond research. Uh, you know at the end what really makes uh, Sonic an interesting and compelling project is its ability to affect life, real, real, you know, life uh, for people out there, you know, to have a societal impact beyond the research outcomes of a project. Learn more in the February 2019 Communications of the ACM in the contributed article, Sonic, a system for monitoring, analyzing, and mitigating urban noise pollution.